Thousands of British travellers and a number of famous faces are stranded this morning. Hundreds of flights delayed or cancelled yesterday following this massive air traffic control meltdown. GMB's Nick Dixon's been at Heathrow all morning for us. What's going on there now? Is there any sign of people getting back? Morning, Ranveer. A lot of passengers arriving at the airport this morning to see that their flights have been cancelled and there are severe delays as well. That is the case here at Heathrow and really most of the major airports. People looking at what kind of backup plan they can have. Some flights are operating, but uh, the advice clearly is check before you travel, check before you leave the house, because there will be significant disruption today, certainly, perhaps for... The coming days. I was at Gatwick yesterday afternoon, really in the midst of all the chaos around here. A lot of very frustrated passengers there. Of course, they do understand that it was a technical problem, certainly out with their control and a lot of the airline staff's control, but they were really struggling with the lack of information. And again, people coming into Heathrow this morning that we've been talking to, finding out when they arrived that their flights have perhaps suddenly been cancelled or connecting flights cancelled. So an awful lot of frustration here. And for a lot of celebs as well, they have been uh, sharing their frustrations on social media over the last 24 hours. Helen Flanagan uh, was sharing uh, pictures of uh, her trying to keep her kids entertained, as many people have been doing and struggling with perhaps at times as well. Gabby Logan uh, tweeted as well, saying she was on a plane on the runway at Budapest Airport, almost three weeks away from home. I am hours from hugging my family. We could be here for 12 hours, so we sit on the plane and wait. Romesh Ranganathan as well posted an on-the-plane selfie with the caption, the holiday series ends with him being stuck on a runway indefinitely. In many ways, I blame myself for trying to enjoy life. You get the idea. Yes, I do. And you've caught up with some of those other travellers who've been stuck this morning whose real plans have been scuppered. Yeah, we spoke to a couple here at Heathrow just about six o'clock this morning, Fiona and Adam. They just got married on Sunday, newlyweds, came here to start their honeymoon to find their flight connection cancelled. Plans in disarray, but still smiling, just. We arrived to Heathrow like maybe an hour and a half ago and then on the board we got notification that our flight um, had been cancelled. We're trying to get to Peru. Um, we actually got married on Sunday, so this is our honeymoon. So it wasn't meant to go like this, but, um, but yeah, so it's a bit of a shame. Yes, I'm not sure there's a honeymoon suite at Heathrow, is there? But um, never mind, they'll get there eventually, we hope. Nick, thanks so much. And, um, of course, we've been hit by it as well because we were meant to have Radzi Chinganya on the show today talking about his new book, but he's actually ended up being held in Budapest after his flight was cancelled yesterday, so he has sent us this message. Ranveer, I hope you are really, really well. As you can probably tell, this is not the Lorraine Green Room, but it is my hotel room in Budapest. I left here 12 hours ago. I'm back here after spending all day at the airport. No flights, massive cancellations, so many people put out, everybody's trying to come home. Fingers crossed, I'll get to fly back tomorrow, possibly on Wednesday, worst case scenario Thursday. But the biggest thing for me, I was actually flying back early to see yourself and to talk to you about my brand new book that I'm so excited about. So fingers crossed, I'll get to see you very soon and we'll do it in the future when the flights are a lot kinder to us. Randy, see you really soon. Yes. Good camera framing, Radzi, all on your own there. <laughs> uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing him when he gets back and good luck to everybody who's been caught up in it today.